Well, friends, I trust that the message this morning has helped you to understand what trials are all about. One of the things that we really need to zero in on is the trials that Jesus went through when he was living on this earth. He went through them, but with his relationship with his father, he was able to fulfill the ministry that Father God had for him. God was there. It doesn't matter what the suffering is. There is a reason for it. And one of the big reasons is it gets us closer to God. And you may wonder, how can that be? Well, the reason why it can be that is because with the trial, we've seen God come into the picture and help us through that trial and come out victorious. Who would not want to be closer to Jesus, the one who helped us through the trial? And helped us to defeat Satan in that situation and bring us through to victory. Now, friends, one of the biggest trials that men and women have today has to do with living a life of sin. Sin destroys. Sin disrupts. Sin robs. Sin, sin just simply takes away. And you may be listening to my voice this morning and you say, I want nothing to do with that. I don't want to have to go through any more trials. It's such a, a defeat in my life. Well, friends, a relationship with Jesus can make things right. It's asking Jesus Christ into your heart as a personal savior. The blood that was shed on Calvary washes your sin away. You become a brand new creation in Christ Jesus. And I'm going to pray to that end right now that God would do what he said he would do in changing lives and your life in particular. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for your word that says you are true. You are there. You understand all of us. And I thank you, dear Lord, that the trials that we face and the victories of them all gives us a relationship that makes us closer and closer to you. And Lord, for that one that wants to have that relationship with you, but sin has blocked it. I pray right now in the name of Jesus. And as they say this little prayer, dear Jesus, I'm a sinner. Come into my heart and life. Take my sin away from this moment on. I want to live for you. Lord, you heard that prayer. And there's a new name written down in glory because of that. And that name that is written in glory is your name. Your name specifically. You are a brand new Christian. You're a born again Believer, welcome to the family of God. Now in closing, let's pray this prayer together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into, into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen and amen. Well, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. We love you. Go with God and he will go with you.